Now this is the second video we have for you and it will cover all the information we have on elk. Once again at the end of this you will be directed to our fishing game website upon which you will be able to see all of the comments and proposals in detail and you will be able to provide your comments at that time. Similar to mule deer, elk hunting opportunity and harvest increased significantly over the last five years. We just completed the elk survey in the Pioneer Zone and counted over 12,000 elk. We are over 1,100 cow elk above elk plan objective. Year-round depredations are significant. We will need to harvest a significant number of antlerless elk to bring the population down to within objective. The bull cow calf ratio is 36 bulls per 100 cows and 38 calves per 100 cows. Similar to mule deer, we offer several different elk hunting experiences, general, quality, and high quality hunting opportunities, each having different goals concerning hunter harvest, percent six points in the harvest, hunter density, drawing odds, and bull cow ratios. We offer quality and high quality hunting experiences in Unit 49. After the 2008 survey, we eliminated general rifle spike hunting from the A tag. We also significantly reduced antlerless hunting opportunity. After the 2013 survey, we increased antlerless harvest, but obviously not enough. With a growing elk herd comes hunters looking for opportunity. Archery hunter numbers have increased significantly over time along with harvest. In an attempt to reduce depredations, and get this population back within objective, we are proposing two options for you to consider. Option A includes five controlled hunts with 200 tags each for a total of 1,000 tags. Or option B would eliminate the five controlled hunts and replace it with a general antlerless hunt on the B tag from November 10th to the 30th. The Upper Snake and Salmon regions are also proposing significant increases in antlerless harvest in units 36A and 50. The Smoky Bennett survey was last completed in 2015 with just under 5,000 elk counted and a bull cow calf ratio of 36 bulls and 43 calves per 100 cows. It was the first time the entire zone had ever been flown at the same time. Results showed that the population was back within objective. We offer four quality elk hunting opportunities in the zone, in units 43, 44, 45 and 52, and 48. High quality hunting opportunities are offered in units 43, 44, and 48. After the 2015 survey results showed the population was back within objective and total bulls and adult bulls were actually above objective, the decision was made to remove the cap on the A tag that had been in place for a few years. We had also proposed to eliminate the general spike hunting opportunity off the A tag, but decided to leave it in place for a few years and monitor the results. Hunter numbers increased significantly. 650 people purchased this tag who did not buy an elk tag anywhere in the state of Idaho the previous year in 2014, resulting in lots of new hunters. Lots of new hunters brought a significant increase in bull harvest. We will not be able to maintain this amount of harvest and still meet population and harvest objectives in the future. We are proposing to remove the general spike hunting from the A tag and separating hunting opportunities in units 45 and 52 to create their own antlered and antlerless hunts and increase antlerless tags where needed, and create new late season either sex hunting opportunities in units 45 and 52. For the past several years, Nevada comes into southern Idaho and flies an elk survey in January. The 2016 results showed 3,486 elk wintering in the areas in and around the Jarbage and Bruno Canyons. Nevada also has been radio collaring some of these elk to determine where they spend the summer in Nevada. 
so as to place additional hunting pressure on this population that is significantly over objective. We have concerns about the total number of elk and the increasing number that are staying in Idaho year round. This many elk living on top of our bighorn sheep is also of great concern. We offer quality opportunity both early and late in the season in units 46 and 47. We also offer quality hunting opportunities in units 54 along with 55, 56, and 57. We are proposing to offer additional antlered and antlerless hunting opportunities in units 46 and 47 to address several concerns and to take advantage of Nevada's growing elk herd. We are proposing to remove units 55, 56, and 57 from the greenfield hunt and replace them with controlled hunts in August to address depredation concerns. We offer a quality hunt in Unit 52A. We are not proposing any changes for the Big Desert Zone. 